Today is a Tuesday, October 3, 2023. Decade later memorial for refugees lost in Italian crisis. Two shocking wrecks off Lampedusa shook the hearts of European forerunners in 2013. Presently, approaches and ways of talking to those relocating are more earnest than at any time in recent memory. Lampedusa, Italy, Vito Fiorino awakened in his boat to penetrating shouts. It was 6 a.m. on October 3, 2013, and the Italian angler had gone through an interesting night out adrift with his group, expecting a decent catch. They checked the faintly lit sky hoping to recognize a trip of seagulls mewing somewhere far off. All things considered, as the gathering cruised towards the commotion, the scene that looked for them was one they had never seen. A shaky fishing vessel conveying haven searchers from Eritrea and Somalia had inverted a brief distance off Italy's Lampedusa, a holidaymaker's fantasy island known for its purplish blue waters and sandy ocean side. Just 155 individuals made do, while 368 individuals suffocated. The anglers maneuvered 47 individuals onto their vessel before Italian specialists showed up. Days after the fact, on October 11, a subsequent vessel stacked with for the most part Syrians escaping the conflict desolated country upset some 32 kilometers, 20 miles, off the coast, killing 268 individuals, including 60 kids. A decade to the day, Fiorino joined Italy's yearly day of recognition for the casualties of the 2013 Rex and the large number of exiles who have died adrift since. He lit candles on Tuesday around a curved landmark he planned and introduced in Lampedusa's Piazza Pieve. Whirling around the iron skeleton of a boat, the names of the people who passed on in the wreck merged on a blue platform representing the ocean. Adjacent to him, survivors and the anglers who had saved their lives secured in a hug, wailing unobtrusively. Adonim Rezin, who was 22 when he escaped Eritrea, lost lifelong companions in the wreck. At absolutely no point in the future. The remarkable size of the twofold misfortune, a short distance from Italy's southernmost segment of land, shook the inner voice of European authorities at that point. Jose Manuel Barroso, then, at that point leader of the European Commission, travelled to Lampedusa, where teddy bears and blossoms decorated many little white caskets, a picture Barroso said would never quit thinking about. The sort of misfortune we have seen here so near the coast ought to at no point ever occur in the future, Barroso said. Once more yet, comparable misfortunes have happened consistently and the Italian island, with a populace of only 6,000, is at the focal point of a European displaced person emergency. Last month in Lampedusa, as a huge number of refuge searchers were packed in a middle intended to oblige 400, the Italian coast watchman found the body of an on-the-infant venture. Days sooner, a five-month-old kid suffocated after a boat upset close to the coast. In February, something like 94 individuals, including 35 youngsters, passed on after a boat carting displaced people sank away the Italian beachfront city of Cutro, in the southern district of Calabria. Vincenzo Luciano, an angler who endeavoured to save lives during the new Cutro wreck, imparted his declaration to a gathering of understudies in Lampedusa. Unlike Vito, De Simula, I was unable to save anybody. I removed 13 kids from the water, however, they were all dead, he said. The youngest was merely eight months old when he peacefully departed in my embrace. Starting around 2014, the Global Association for Relocation, IOM, says 28,105 individuals have been recorded as absent, however, the genuine numbers are probably going to be fundamentally higher. Up to this point this year, no less than 2,517 individuals have kicked the bucket while crossing the Mediterranean, as per the Unified Countries Evacuee Office Anchor, more than last year's terrible cost. Overcomers of the 2013 wrecks and family members of the casualties on Tuesday blamed Italian and European organizations for focusing on their lines over lives. Emmanuel Gebriasu, 53, said his niece would have been 30 today had she made do. It has truly been extreme throughout recent years, said Gebriasu, as groups walked to the 5-meter, 16-foot, high door of Europe landmark, 
where they threw blossoms in the ocean, an impactful image of their grieving. In the outcome of the 2013 wrecks, Rome sent off a state drove activity to watch the Mediterranean, calling it Horse Remedy, the Roman name for the Mediterranean Ocean, that saved in excess of 150,000 lives in its extended time of action. Notwithstanding, the maritime mission was suspended in 2014 after the EU wouldn't add to its functional expenses. As per philanthropic gatherings that attempt and save outcasts in danger, from that point forward, the arrangements administering search and protection tasks have zeroed in on pushbacks, the criminalization of NGOs, and purposeful postponements. Rossella Mixio, top of the Italian Non-Legislative Clinical Association Crisis, which works the vessel life backing, told Al Jazeera that Rome is clear and unequivocal in its craving to hamper crafted by NGO ships. The public authority of extreme right state leader Giorgia Meloni, whose political race a year prior required a maritime bar of North Africa to control appearances, has embraced orders that limit NGO vessels to each safeguard in turn, after which they should promptly land. The associations say the service of the inside frequently allows distant to land, restricting the boat's accessibility to do look and save activities. Now and again, they have been allotted far off northern Italian ports, a long way from the stretch of the Mediterranean Ocean where they work. These arrangements abridge search and salvage tasks and bring more passings and pullbacks, Mixio said. In 2017, the EU figured out an agreement with Libya and in July consented to a dubious arrangement, distributing 100 million euros, 112 million dollars, to Tunisia to assist it with combating undocumented movement. The two nations capture and return boats, which Basic Liberties Associations say makes the EU complicit in manhandles. Individuals are being returned to Libya and presently Tunisia, however, what does this accomplish? This is an endless loop since they will continue to attempt to escape, said Mixio. The city hall leader of Lampedusa, Filippo Manino, said ideological groups of all tones have postponed the issue indefinitely and neglected to offer practical answers for the difficulties presented by transitory streams. The most disturbing pattern is that we are treating appearances and passings adrift as normal occasions, he said. We are desensitized to them. Meloni Macron look for European reaction. On Friday, the heads of nine Mediterranean and Southern European nations assembled in Malta, requiring a critical increment in the EU's endeavours to handle movement in beginning and travel nations, after the pinnacle of appearances in Lampedusa reignited pressures inside the coalition. Meloni said without underlying arrangements from the coalition, everybody will be overpowered. French President Emmanuel Macron required a unified European reaction, encouraging fortitude with Italy. Prior, his inside service expressed that Paris wouldn't invite individuals coming from Lampedusa. EU Commission head Ursula von der Leyen visited the island on September 17, pursuing a fight against undocumented appearances. We conclude who comes to the European Association and under what conditions, and not the bootleggers and dealers she said as she introduced a 10-point plan that incorporated a potential European maritime mission, which Meloni said ought to be run in concurrence with North African specialists. As indicated by Crisis Mixio, the particulars of this proposition stay hazy. We invite a European maritime mission, she said, truly that it puts saving lives, as opposed to pushbacks, as its fundamental need. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.